Hey everyone, we're playing the Binding of Isaac today. So, a couple things I wanted to point out that I'm doing differently about my recording setup. From now on is obviously the face cam, and also I'm wearing a headset right now. Before, I was just using the microphone that's built into my webcam. I'm hoping that this will fix any issues with hearing me over the game in case my voice was getting drowned out in my other videos. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start the game up. I'm going to be Maggie this time around. I'm normally Isaac, uh, Kane, or Azazel, Azazel uh, the one that flies and has the laser shot, but I thought I don't want to be too OP for a YouTube run. So anyway, let's see where we can go. The object of this run is just going to be to kill mom. The If anyone's just played the first Binding of Isaac, she's way easier to beat in this one, but um, the stages after her in utero are a little more difficult. Oh, and I got ramming speed, so... Oh no. I thought I could break these. That's another power-up. I always forget which one it is. There are so many power-ups, I lose track all the time. Okay. So we got a long-legged spider in here and some of these flies that just kind of orbit around each other. They're attack flies, but they attack in a little more... I don't know if I want to say aggressive pattern, but... I don't know. They're <laughs> like the, the synchronized swimmers of attack flies, I guess. Uh, always make sure, uh, just a little pro tip, I feel like everyone does this, but always clear out poop in a room if you can. There's little piles of poop because they have money in them sometimes. Okay, so this was a pretty short, pretty short first floor. Uh, not too hard first boss. Just get him to follow you and shoot tears at him while he follows you. And then after he, the main guy dies, his little partner, I think he's, I think he's called Little Steven, uh, just breaks off and follows you too, and you follow the same thing. He's a little bit faster than the main guy, but he is not a problem at all. So I have to just kind of, he always gets tired and it's a little bit annoying because you're tempted to go shoot him again, but then Little Steven will just start shooting at you. And he's already broken off already. Okay, so this makes things a little more tricky. Come on. Don't be afraid to meet your maker, as I would like to put it. Because look at him, I'm owning this guy. He's not a terribly hard boss, but he does not come up very often. Well, <laughs> I still managed to get hurt. Oh, I got an achievement. Well, that's kind of nice. Grab that heart. Grab the little Steven. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything more worth exploring on this floor, so we can just move on. Because I could use the key to get into the shop, but I don't have any money, so that's not really worth it at all. I already got the upgrade for that floor. So now we're in the basement, too. Ooh, there's money there, but I can't get it. God, that fly was in such an awkward place. I thought it was going to get stuck there, and I couldn't leave the room if I couldn't kill it. Alright, so these guys I don't mind at all, because they shoot diagonally. It's very easy to just get adjacent to them and kill them. Okay, let's just go in here, because why not? Alright, 99 bombs. 99 bottles of bombs on the wall. No, that doesn't work. Put out the fire. Blow that up, get that. Okay, I'm actually not gonna do any pills this run, just because even though I'm pretty sure the odds are like 60-40 as far as something good happening, I don't wanna take the risk that the pill will have a bad effect. Not doing it this time around. I wanna play it as safe as I can. So these guys are easily dead. Little Steven's got those psychic shots, which sort of like hone in on the enemy and try to and hit them every time. Go in the shop, okay. Okay, so something nice uh, about the Binding of Isaac rever Rebirth for anyone that's just played the original or hasn't played the game at all. When you go into shops in this game, there's a donation box, which is sort of like a little bank for keeping pennies that you can save up through subsequent playthroughs of the game. It's really helpful if you don't have any money, and then you can just blow it up to get, to get yourself some money. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this Faith Heart right here. Oh, it's five. Alright, well, as much as I don't want to... I'd like to save money gonna blow it up so I can get a little bit out to get that because that's nice 
All right, Dingle. This guy's a boss. is kind of annoying. If he slot, yeah, when he slides around the room, it's super hard to avoid. I always have trouble with it anyway. But luckily, I have a companion right now, so that helps a lot. It means more of my shots are getting through to him. Don't you try to spit at me. He didn't summon any friends until now. I was wondering why he was waiting. Maybe because he knows they're pretty much useless. But usually every time I fight him, he always like summons friends and then spits at me. He waits a while, at least when I usually play him, to um, go sliding around the room. So we got a Satan room over here. I always like to check this room out in the event that there are evil hearts, which, upon losing them, deal damage to everyone in the room. I'm not normally not that interested in whatever power-ups he has, just because I don't think it's worth losing a whole heart container for them. But sometimes they are, or if sometimes if I have lots of hearts and can spare it, I'll do it. But I didn't in that case. Oh, I hate these guys. They take forever to kill. They move around the room a lot. And it's very easy to get hit by them, and they steal your money if you have it. Which I don't, so luckily I'm not out any money. I have so many bombs, I'll go ahead and see if I can cross that. Yep. One bomb for one penny. That's worth it, right? Okay. Easy enough. Get those fires out. Okay. Uh, I didn't like the way those guys were placed in this room. Okay. Not a big fan of leeches, personally. Yeah, personally. Do not like the way they will leap across the room to get to you. Oh, I hate these guys like the most, though. These little skeleton guys. They almost always hit me when I fight them. At least one of them if I'm in a room with them, unless I play it super safe. doing really well right now though I have no right to complain if I get hit a little bit <laughs> here and there I was kind of concerned I was gonna be doing terribly while recording so but I could be speaking a little bit too soon at the same time okay too easy Ooh, regeneration is nice regeneration is very nice Let's go back and explore, shall we? I'm already pretty far. I think I'm already at, what, the caves? Caves 2? This is crazy. Let's go through here. The overall pacing of this game is way faster than the first one, I think. You can clear rooms so much faster. Let's go in here. Ooh, the item room. I haven't been here yet. Or er, to the item room. Obviously, I haven't been in this room. But of course it's guarded by these guys. Oh my god, don't leave a bomb there. Okay. Leave another bomb right there. No, not gonna fall for it. Alright. Should probably just try to shoot them, honestly. Be easier. Okay. What's this? Quad shot? Nice! That's very helpful. Okay. Wish I could get that heart over there. But no. It was not meant to be. So let's leave. There's nothing more for us here.
Yeah, so we're already... Where are we? Okay, now we're at the caves, too. We're not nearly as far as I thought we were. Let's go in this big room here. Oh, so many spiders. So many spiders. Why did I do this? Alright, luckily I have the quad shot, so hopefully I can get rid of them faster. That kind of scared me a little bit, but I thought they were all just going to like scurry all across the room right towards me, and I would I would be dead death by spiders. The most embarrassing way to go. Because they're spiders, come on. they are It's not like they're those dudes that regenerate, like seriously. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Here they are. Okay. Come on. Okay. 